All right, uh, new job numbers from Stats Canada are out this morning. Tyler Orton from Business in Vancouver is joining us now. And Tyler, lots of jobs being added, but it doesn't seem to be affecting unemployment. You know, that's absolutely true, but it's actually good news for British Columbia. We added a lot of jobs. Uh, we're actually leading the way among all provinces. I'll break down the numbers for you. Uh, it, throughout Canada, added a total of 44,000 jobs through the month of October. This is according from Statistics Canada. Um, unemployment, it remained the same, though, at uh, 7%, unchanged. The reason why? More people happy about the workforce. They're entering the workforce looking for jobs. Same goes for British Columbia. We added... Uh, 15,000 jobs. So even though BC is only about 12, 13% of the t Canada's total population, we actually account for 33% of job growth here. And if you look at, at a year over year basis, BC has added 56,000 jobs for 2.4% growth. That's the fastest growth rate among all provinces in Canada. Hmm. And again, BC's unemployment rate, it actually went up because people are actually, again, like I said, entering the workforce looking for jobs. So our unemployment rate 6.2%, but it's actually the lowest unemployment rate in all of Canada. So good news across the board, especially for British Columbia. All right. And new developments this morning on the ongoing feud between Walmart and, and Visa in Manitoba. Yeah, Visa is offering $10 rebates to customers, only those customers won't be able to get those rebates at Walmart. Now, this is a new promotion. If you spend $50 on groceries, you'll get $10 back from Visa if you use your Visa card, of course. Uh, now, what uh, they don't say, though, is like this won't apply to Walmart. They don't name Walmart specifically, but it excludes all stores that are like Walmart in Manitoba. It's similar to another promotion that happened in Thunder Bay, Ontario. And recall, that's the first Walmart store in Canada that stopped accepting Visa cards. So if that ever happens in British Columbia, because Walmart has promised to slowly stop accepting Visa cards across Canada, I'm pretty certain BC would probably get a similar uh, sort of deal over mm. here. So it's just maybe a wait and see process. But as you said, Sonia, they're really upping their ante when it comes to this whole battle between the retail giant and the credit card giant. Yeah, it really has become quite ugly. All right, Tyler, thanks so much.